guys, Mac here and welcome to my fragrance obsession. Oh my god, it feels so good to actually speak in my usual tone of voice. Instead of having to whisper and, you know, get all loads of comments from you guys saying, you know what, you need to turn yourself up. Well, we don't have that problem anymore because I'm doing this a little bit earlier, so yes. Now, as you guys can see by the name of this video, I am going to be talking about my second fragrance from the company of Mont Blanc. In a previous episode, I talked about the amazing presence. Now, this is a great fragrance. If you haven't checked this one out, find it and try it, by the way. It's amazing. Totally different presence, by the way. That's the thing with all Mont Blanc fragrances. They're all different in genre and, you know, which is to be, of course. But uh, this one is more on the fresher side, more on the cleaner side. This is a sort of casual fragrance and kind of gets a little bit overlooked. And that, that's the thing I've been reviewing a lot of sort of overlooked fragrances in the, in the past few weeks, past few months, if you like. And uh, yeah, I mean, expect more of those because unpopular is always better, I think, sometimes. But uh, this is one of those fragrances that I think definitely is uh, really good. It's quite affordable. It's not an expensive fragrance. You can find it, uh, well, this bottle is a 50 mil. And you can get 50 mil and 75 mil. I don't know why. It's Mont Blanc's bottle sizes are a little bit strange. But uh, yes, this size is 50 mil. So you can probably find this for about 20 pounds in the UK. And that's how much I got it from. I think I paid 19.99 from the perfume shop for this. And uh, I've got the box to show you as well because uh, I, I really like the box for this. So I'm going to show you that. As well as the bottle and the smell, of course. But uh, this is what the bottle looks like. And this is for a fragrance called Star Walker. Oh, look, you can see me. A Star Walker by Mont Blanc. This scent came out in 2005. And uh, this one has a... It's the name of it sort of going back to the history of the company. Now, the history of Mont Blanc actually started um, a very, very long time ago. They actually started out making uh, wallets and uh, things like watches. But they're most famous for pens. And uh, their first pen that they ever created was the very famous Star Walker pen. And that's what this fragrance is inspired from. And this is the bottle design. It's just absolutely beautiful. Absolutely love this bottle design. I mean, this is a 50 mil. I mean, you can get the 75 mil as well, but I think that this bottle size is perfect. And this is something that uh, I need to actually tell you guys about something. And I think this is something that a few other reviewers who have reviewed this fragrance don't dwell into enough about. I've only seen one reviewer talk about this. And the, the cap for this fragrance is actually quite sharp. So be very careful when you're using it it is actually really sharp um i don't think it's sharp to the point where it is gonna cut your skin but it will you know leave you ah you know that sort of thing so just be a little bit careful so this is what your bowl design looks like we get mont blanc there on the bottom we get star walker there in sort of like a really cool sort of font and uh yeah the juice itself i've shot if i shine it in front of a light it's like a really light violet color so yeah very very nice and we also get the mont blanc uh, logo there on the top and we get some information on the bottom star walker out of toilet natural spray 50 mil 1.7 fluid ounce 80% uh, volume and it's made by inter parfums and uh, it's got the address there you know four rond point there's champs elises I don't know yeah made in France so yeah just your usual sort of information there now a little bit of other information about this fragrance now this fragrance was created in 2005 like I said before and the perfumer is Michel Almirac. I don't quite know how to pronounce his name, so I do apologize. I'll put the name right here. Um, he's created so many fragrances, and um, I've only actually got one fragrance that he's created, which is Yop Hom, or Jupe Hom by Jupe, which uh, is on the top shelf. I was going to get it, but you guys know that. The, the famous pink fragrance from Jupe, he's created that. He's also created fragrances like Magnetism for Men by Yaskada, which is unfortunately is a discontinued fragrance sorry i had to swallow there and um he's also created a fragrance called minotaur by paloma picasso which came out in 1992 oh and sorry magnetism for men by escada came out in 2004 sorry i didn't mention that but yes he's created quite a few um classic fragrances his first fragrance i think was uh out de gucci which came out in 1982 so he has been around for quite a long time but uh, he's also created a lot of fragrances for bottega Veneta. so he's still in the business he creates some amazing fragrances i mean this is a great scent, so we're going to get more onto it. Now, the notes for Star Walker by Mont Blanc are, we get bergamot and mandarin, so a very citrus opening. In the middle, we get bamboo, ginger, and nutmeg. 
and in the base we get a very woody base uh, of cedarwood, sandalwood, white musk and amber. So this is a very citrusy fresh scent. I have already sprayed it but I'm going to spray some more on here. Let me show you guys what the spray looks like. It's pretty decent. It gives you a good amount of juice. It doesn't give you a lot which is just right. So uh, as this is sort of you know settling into my skin I'll just give it a bit of time. Okay, here we go. So what do I think of Star Walker by Mont Blanc? Well, this fragrance opens up very crisp and it's very clean. And it has a kind of very strange metallic feel to it. And I don't quite know where that comes from. I guess maybe the Bergamot and Mandarin as a citrus accord creates this sort of strange metallic feel. I don't know. It might just be me, but <laughs> that's what I get. It's sort of like a metallic citrusy opening. Um... But it's very clean, it's very sensual, and it's just, it's a very casual smell. Something that I do not think will harm anyone smelling it at all. Like, it's one of those fragrances that you'll smell on somebody and think, mm, you smell really good today, you smell very fresh. It's not going to overcomplicate people when they smell it. They're not going to be thinking, wow, does he want to smell unique? Because it isn't a really unique fragrance, but it does smell very, very good, to say the least. So, very citrusy, um, very crisp and clean in the opening. In terms of the middle, the ginger and the nutmeg come into this fragrance very bombastically. Uh, if you like ginger and you like the note of nutmeg, you are really going to like this fragrance. But I think probably one of my favourite notes of this fragrance is that bamboo. Now, it's not a fantasy note. It's not one of those notes that's going to make anybody think, oh, it has bamboo in it. It's going to make it smell so amazing. It's not like that. The bamboo actually is quite a well-favoured note in perfumery. A lot of famous fragrances out there have them. If you check out... Uh, all the different types of ingredients in that on Fragrantica for bamboo, it will give you a lot of results, I'm telling you. But this one is famous for that bamboo note. It's very woody, but it does also have this aquatic, tropical feel to it. I guess, you know, bamboo, rainforests and stuff like that, you know. Really, really nice. Um, it's just great. Like, I think the ginger also is another personal favourite note of mine. I mean, it's not like... In this fragrance, I mean, it's not like one of my most favorite notes in all fragrances, but it's definitely one of my favorites in this fragrance. Um, I think what I really like about it is the fact that a lot of people, when they first smell this fragrance, they might think, oh, this is a very boring fragrance. But the ginger, I think, is what gives it a slight spicy take uh, because ginger is a quite a spicy note. Um, but with that citrus in the top and, you know, all that nutmeg and, you know, that bamboo note creating that sort of unique woody vibe, it, it does make Star Walker quite different at the same time. I mean, it isn't totally unique, but it is different, and it's giving it, giving it that feel. And in terms of the base notes, uh, we get that cedarwood, sandalwood, white musk, and amber. We get a lot of white musk, and we do get a lot of cedarwood. Not so much sandalwood. I think it's more of cedar. Like, that is the main woody vibe, woody note, I should say, that you get in the dry down. It's just very woody. It's sweet, and that comes from the amber, but... It's very musky and it's, it's got this sort of clean powdery take to it. Just really, really nice. It's a very, very nice fragrance. Just so sweet in the dry down. Just a nice, well-crafted fragrance. I think anybody who's... It's a perfect fragrance for somebody who just wants to smell normal, you know? Some, so if you just want to smell casual, if you want to smell very clean and fresh, a perfect fragrance to wear after, you know, having a nice hot shower... This is the fragrance to go for. It's just great. Great for office work, I think, if you work in an office building, if you work anywhere, really. If I think it could work any, absolutely in any type of environment. Um, what's funny is I think, like, I think this is more well-suited for sort of summer and springtime. However, now that we're in autumn, it's actually starting to get really cool outside now. I wore this tonight, um, uh, not long ago. I'm actually wearing it at the moment, but it's starting to fade away now it's, it only lasts about five to six hours by the way but you will enjoy those five to six hours of it being on your skin I will guarantee you but what's really good is when I first applied this and I went outside into the cool air the fragrance really started to smell good and I remember going outside and the first thing I said to my parents was what's that smell it smells really good out here and I was like oh it's me <laughs> oh, and I'm just going to say thank you so much for watching my review on Mont Blanc Star Walker. I keep this fragrance in its box because I really do like the box design. I don't do it with all of my fragrances. If a fragrance has a nice box with it, I'll keep it in its box where it really belongs. Like, so I just put this on my shelf like that and sort of, you know, it looks really nice. And uh, I don't keep it on my cabinet. I put it with like most of my aquatic fragrances. So yes, it's uh, just put it back on there on the shelf. So thank you so much for watching. 
my review for Starwalker by Mont Blanc. Uh, a nice, citrusy, casual fragrance that came out in 2005. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you have any questions whatsoever about fragrances, or even about this fragrance, you want to tell me anything about it, please let me know and I will get back to you. Thank you so, so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. Hope you're all having a wonderful autumn time. Keep smelling good. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.